Hi, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today we're making this super fast, super cute owl Valentine's Day card using the Close to My Heart Art Booking Cricut cartridge. Um, most of the cuts I did were using the real dial size, but as you saw that owl zoom by, it was at um, nine inches, not real dial size, but the other two cuts are real dial size. I know, complicated, but hang tight. All right, let's get started. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive Glue to layer up my owl. And um, I actually created that white background for him using the Hide Selected Contour feature in the Cricut Craft Room, which I have a video on. And I should put a link above this <laughs> so you can find that or a link at the end of the video. Um, it's very simple to do. It's actually, when I finished, I was like, oh, that might not have been necessary um, because the card backing is actually white, so I could have just put them on there, but um, just something to think of. I did the same thing with Hide Selected Contour to make this I Love You because I, I also made a white background for that. Now, I've gone ahead and kind of jerry-rigged this, <laughs> oh, there's no other better way to tell you that, to uh, jerry-rig this little heart section of the I Love You. I wanted it to be a different color, and so I taped that on, and then um, I had to cut that down so you could see the little heart, you know. But as you can see, it's just kind of taped on the back and trimmed, and, you know, all manner of foolishness is going on back there. But, you know, once you glue it together, nobody sees any of that. So I just thought it would be kind of fun and a little make the cut a little bit more interesting so pretty simple so my next step again just going to tape down this red piece so i have red hearts behind this like polaroid frame if you will and it's always a handy little trick instead of gluing because now i don't have to worry exactly where the hearts are because i just see <laughs> tape that little sheet down um this is going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So I scored five and a half. The total length um, of that paper is four and a quarter by 11. So simple. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. I know the thing is huge, but it, it really makes some nice um, rounded corners. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape that down, tape it together, and I'm set to go. My big tape gun is the Scotch ATG gun from Michaels. And I love it, which I tell you guys all the time because it has huge rolls of tape <laughs> and they're inexpensive and they stick really well. So it's my favorite. Um, so we're just going to, there you go. Practically all done. So we're just on a, oops, something's wrong with his nose. All right. I have some um, wiggle eyes. I love wiggle eyes. I know they're kind of nerdy and funky, but I do like, I do like a wiggle eye. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Here I've got some uh, leftover. See, there's no leftover. See, because you're going to use your entire pop dot sheet. I like to sometimes, if you've got a big cut like that, you cut up the little pop dots you had and you actually make a whole big backing. So at the end, there's absolutely nothing left with your pop dots. So sometimes I do that with some larger cuts. I just stick him down back to the wiggle eyes. I'm going to put those on. These are self adhesive ones. I think they sell these in these little sheets. I think you can get them. Um, also again, Joanne's Michaels and whatnot, um, in like the kids aisle, I think it's over near like the feathers and the boas and some funky stuff like that, but always fun to put a couple wiggle eyes up. And then for the inside of the card, I'm just going to use a little strip here. That's like a quarter inch by four and a quarter. And I lay it on, boy, I want to say that's like an inch by four and a quarter. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the inside. Nothing too fancy. Apparently, I didn't cut it exactly precisely. <laughs> a little trimming. All right. I really appreciate you guys watching. Coming up um, is a list of all the products used. And that is just going to be it for me. Um, leave some comments below if you'd like. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Also, there'll be a little tip on how to do hide-selected contour. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.